Welcome to this NetSuite demo of landed cost. These notes are just a summary of important points. I highly recommend that you review the suite answers noted in the next slide. The video demo assumes knowledge of NetSuite purchase orders, bills, item receipts, etc. If you do not have a working knowledge of these concepts, the video may not be appropriate for you. This PowerPoint and the video demo is intended for users and do not deal extensively with setup. I highly suggest you review these answers in Sweet Answers, ID 11120 Overview, ID 11114 Ended Landed Cost on a Transaction, ID 11119 Landed Cost Examples. There are a multiple ways to deal with landed cost. In this demo, I will deal with inventory being received before the freight bill. So landed cost and items will be billed separately. Important points, bill for freight cost must be approved. The reference field must be filled in, otherwise you will not be able to pick it. Inventory items must have track landed cost ticked. All right, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a purchase order. All right, and I'm going to use my inventory vendor that I've set up earlier for testing, and we'll say uh, uh, inventory items test landed cost. Oops, I got typo there. Department, I'm going to use my demo apartment. And you go to your items. I don't have many items, so I'm going to pick my item one, my landed cost testing. Let's say we get a hundred of them at a hundred dollars. Add that. Item two. Let's say we get a thousand of those at fifteen bucks. Add that, and we're going to click supervisor approval because I'm an administrator, and we save that. So a couple of days later, we received the items, and we now go and create this rece receipt. R important at this point in time, we've not received the bill for the freight really important. So at this point we've only received the items. So we go receive, we go receive items landed cost test 2. They both ticked fantastic and we save them. So two, three, four, five days later we actually re receive the bill for the freight. So we go transactions, enter bills, sorry about that, enter bills, All right, and we say uh, freight for land that cost this two, oops, another typo. And we call, I've set up earlier a freight vendor. There's our freight vendor. And we can just copy this reference to put it in the memo. And we're going to use our two landed cost items. So it's really important that you've set up landed cost items. If you use your expensive tab, this will not work. So the first item on our on our freight bill is for the actual freight. So let's say that was a thousand bucks. All good. And that's demo, it's good. And we're gonna add that. And we're gonna go freight. And let's say the second item is for insurance, two hundred and fifty dollars. Pick your landed cost categories there and go ahead and add that. I'm going to use my, depart my demo department again 
and I'm going to save my fried ball. So now we can go and we go back to our item receipt. And we edit our item receipt. We go to our landed cost tab. Let's go quantity. And we say we want to pull in another transaction because we've created that bill. And now we go and look what bills there are. There it is. So now I choose that. And I go to the second one. And I find that. There it is. And I save. And that's that. And to look at the proof, you can go and see the GL impact, and you would see that all of these amounts have been taken taken out of the expense accounts and put into the inventory cost so now that cost is part of the inventory so that's how you do that um, so thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and any feedback appreciated thank you very much